When the pattern says, pull out enough yarn to work the chain using two strands of yarn together, that's when you pull this trick out of your crochet bag. It's particularly useful when the chain is long. Hi, I'm Mary Matz, creator of Twisted Yarns. This video is a crochet tip to help you accurately estimate the amount of yarn needed to crochet a foundation chain with two strands of yarn. You'll need this for projects like the moss stitch rectangle. No longer will you run the risk of running short and restarting from the beginning or wasting yarn. To quickly estimate, round up the number of stitches in the foundation chain to the nearest 10. For example, if you need 24 stitches, round up to 30, then divide by 10, which equals 3. This is the factor that you will use later. Now, tie a slip knot and chain 10 using both the feeder and the long tail. Using your fingers as markers, hold the end with the slip knot with one hand and the two strands of yarn with the other about an inch from the last chain. Then pull out the chains and measure between your fingers. Make sure not to stretch the yarn. In my case, it measured 16 inches. Then multiply by the factor. 16 times 3 equals 48. Tie the slip knot 48 inches from the end. This should give you plenty of yarn to crochet the foundation chain plus a few inches to spare. I hope you enjoyed this crochet tidbit. Please take a moment to subscribe and ring the bell to receive notifications of future videos. Happy crocheting!